Hey guys, so I'm in a different position today. It's just, uh, it happened. I, my computer's down here. I'm lazy. I don't want to bring it up in my room and clean my room for it to be able to film. So I'm like, I'll film in my living room. So thus I am filming in my living room. And I didn't change my hair color. You can't really see it in this kind of lighting. But it's more red. I have shorter bangs. And a lot got cut off of the ends, like five inches. So let's just get right into this. Um, Instead of using my Nook to show you the pictures, I'm going to use my new iPhone 5, which is like my baby, and I'm in love with it. Um, I read 27 books this month, which is like insane. And to think, I didn't think I read that much this month. So, yeah, let's just get right into this, people. Okay, so the first book I read in the month of May is um, Chosen at Nightfall by C.C. Hunter. And um, this is the fifth and final book in the series. And it was, it was a really good conclusion. I really enjoyed it. And it is 5 out of 5 stars. Did I mention this was a May wrap-up? I don't know. But if you could tell by the title, it's a May wrap-up. Then I read Moon Glass by Jesse Kirby, which I gave 4 out of 5 stars. I think I just waited so long to read this that I had such high expectations that I just didn't live up to it. But it was still a good story. And the next book I read was Altered by Jennifer Rush. And I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I have a review on it. So feel free to click the screen. And it will be linked down below us also. So... I'm really excited to read this book. Well, I already read this book. It was a really good book, and I'm really excited to read the sequel when it comes out. That's what I meant to say. And then I found my love of the library, and I decided to pick up 10 by Gretchen McNeil. And I'm like, yay, it's at my library. Let's pick it up. I totally figured out the kicker, but I really enjoyed the story and all of the stuff in the story. And it just reminded me that I need to stop watching so many come to mind things I figured out who the killer was. Then I read You Against Me by Jennifer, well, Jenny Downham, and she's a British author, so I had a little bit of trouble with the language and stuff like that. There are just some things that I wasn't used to being said and things like that, um, but it was still a good story, and I gave it four out of five stars. Then I read Charade by Noray Dawn, or whatever. That's the cover right there, and I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. Uh, yeah, it just it was good. Then I read True by Erin McCarthy, which is a Met Galley book, and I read it before it came out, and it was really, really good, and I gave it five out of five stars, and oh my gosh, this book was just amazing, and so not what I expected, and it's just awesome. Then I read School of Spirits by Rachel Hawkins, and um, this is the cover, and this is the spin-off series to the Hex Hall series by her, so you have to read the Hex Hall series before you can read this, and it follows... Um, Izzy, and I really did not like her turn the Hexall series. I felt she was very stuck up and stuff like that. But I really enjoyed her book, so that's good. Then I reread th three out of the four books in the With Me in Seattle series by Kristen and Proby, and then I read for the first time the fourth book. So the first book that I reread is Come Away With Me, which is the first book, obviously, by Kristen and Proby. Then I read Fight With Me, which is the second book, and then I Again, reread Play With Me, which is the third book. And then for the first time since it came out in May, I read Rock With Me. So, all really good books. And um, the first two were four out of five, and then the other two were five out of five. It just got better as the series went on, basically. Then I read Unbroken by Melody Grace. And I gave this book four out of five stars. Um, I just thought that it was very slow, so it didn't get the five out of five. Then I read the first book in the Mitchell Family series, which is called Letting Go, and it is by Jennifer Cole. And um, she's a, I don't know, I really enjoyed her author, her writing style, so I decided to pick up book two, which is Folding Hearts, and this how it looks like that. And um, basically the premise of the story of the first book is that, like, um, this guy goes into a coma um, right after his girlfriend of, like, four years breaks up with him because she found him cheating and stuff like that. And um, while he's in the coma for, like, eight months, she ends up um, falling in love with his cousin, and then he wakes up, and all this goes to kaput. So that's kind of what happens. Then I read another Neck Alley book, which is called Crossing by Stacey Wallace the Neffel, and that is what that cover looks like. Um, I gave it three out of five stars. It just wasn't, um, how do I put this? A g good, I know it's not good to say, but it just, I liked it at the beginning, it was very funny, and then it just lost all the humor, and it just went to crap. And then, um, 
I read Those Nights in Montreal by Beverly Kendall, and I gave this book four out of five stars, and I have an email. Haha. Uh-huh. Um, but it was four out of five stars. I didn't read the first book first, which was probably a really stupid thing to do. But then I did read the first book, and it made a lot more sense. And the, the that is and it is the first. This is the 1.5 in the um, Language of Love series. And, and like I said before, I read the first book now, um, which is called When in Paris by Beverly Kendall, and I gave this book four out of five stars also. Then I read, like, a prequel novella, so it's, like, the 0.5 of the series by A.L. A. Jackson, and it's called Lost You, and I gave this book four out of five stars. And then I continued on the series of, um, to the first book, which is called Take This Regret by A.L. Jackson, and I didn't really enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the prequel book, but, um, this one got 3.5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Lost in You by Heidi McLaughlin, and I recently read Forever My Girl, I think it was the month before this. And I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd pick this one up. I had a little bit of problems with, like, the age difference. It kind of creeped me out at first, and then I got used to it and stuff like that. And, um, I don't know. It wasn't what I was expecting, but it was still good, so I gave it four out of five stars. Then I rented from my library, Flirting with Boys by ha- um, Haley Abbott. And then I also re- um, rented The Other Boy by Haley Abbott, and they both got four out of five stars. They're quick summer reads, and they were good. So then from that galley, I read Touching Melody, which is a forever first novel by Rochelle Workman. And it looks like that. And um, I gave it four out of five stars. Then I reread Fifty Shades of Creed by E.L. James, cause just because I was kind of in the mood to reread it. I don't know why, but I gave it four out of five stars, same as last time. Darn construction workers messing up everything. Then I read The Bet by Rachel Van Dyke, and I gave this book five out of five stars. It was really good. And it was just really good, and I don't know what else to say about it. Then I read, oh my gosh, Just Shoot Me Now, Stealing Harper, which is the part, second book in the Taking Chances series by Molly McAdams, and it's told in Chase's point of view. And if you read Taking Chances, you know why this is so emotional and just makes you want to cry. And it looks like that, and it just it ripped my heart apart, and I just uh, I couldn't. And it was four out of five stars. Um, then I read A Moment by Marie Hall. And I gave this book four out of five stars. It wasn't really what I was expecting, but it was still okay. I mean, it was free, so I mean, I'm not having that big of a deal with it. But I did have to, a little bit of a struggle to finish it just because it bounced around too much. And I wasn't really a big fan of the bouncing around and stuff like that. Okay, so that is all the books I read this month. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed my May wrap-up. I will talk to you guys later, as I said. Bye.